รูปแบบการเรียนของเขาไม่เหมือนเด็กยุคเก่าๆยุคอื่นคือรูปแบบการเรียนเขาเนี่ยจะมาจากหลายๆหลายๆมิติหลายๆด้านสิ่งหนึ่งที่มีผลกับชีวิตประจําวันเขาแล้วก็รูปแบบการเรียนของเขาที่ที่เราที่เรารู้มาคือก็คือเทคโนโลยีต่างๆไม่ว่าจะเป็นทีวีโทรศัพท์มือถือหรือสิ่งที่มันมีครบทุกอย่างในตัวเองก็คือ iPad ก็เลยเหมาะคิดว่า iPad นี่แหละน่าจะเป็นเครื่องมือที่ที่จะช่วยทําให้เด็กเนี่ยเขาเรียกว่าพัฒนาผลสำเร็จของการเรียนได้ When you see students who, there are certain students who are very shy. They don't want to raise their hand and ask a question. When you see that student ask the teacher a question on the iPad, maybe they're a little too frightened to ask in front of the classroom, but they have no problem with typing out and asking the teacher a question. You see that kind of thing, and it's it's a great. Uh, it shows you that the technology is a, it's a great sort of medium for specific needs. I think the uh, the, the main difference is that the iPad, the use of the technology, and it, as long as you can find the appropriate applications and the appropriate websites, um, the iPad allows more students to be more hands-on with their own learning. For my class, I taught about addictions, and I introduced the topic by having the kids play a simple little game on the iPad. It was an electronic. How fast can you stop? The timer, and they were only required to play three times, and then submit a speed. How fast could they do it? For me, having the iPad to be able to do that was nice because the other class that didn't have the iPad, they don't get that introduction. We just like, what is an addiction? Let's talk about addiction. They don't have the chance to see how fast an addiction can develop. I basically freed my hands. To walk about the class and observe which students were listening and which students were not listening. Uh, interactive board that they could use to move things around and, and change properties, and it helped them to understand much more than drawing on a whiteboard or reading out of a book. Uh, I had them look up some words that we learned from a story, and. Write a sentence, a new sentence, using these words, and draw an accompanying picture. So, for some of the more artistic children, we got to see some cool pictures, and for some of the more silly children, we got to see some funny pictures. The students could send me their homework through the line, so and I knew if I gave them a deadline, I knew the students who did not submit their homework on time. I then. Mark their homework and send back to them. I was also able to give them a quiz, which they all took, and afterwards uh, they could see their scores: who got the highest scores, what were the correct answers. You know, we got to see everything about it. A step-by-step -step calculations involving simultaneous equations. The students could see straight away what was happening. Lower-level students who struggle with the English language or struggle with particular subject matter. They had the opportunity to do a little bit more self-experimentation to to try and solve their own problems. One of the most notable things was that the students paid much more attention uh, than they normally do when I don't have it. Uh, they seem to be more engaged, and they seem to want to get involved with the lesson much more. The self-discovery of learning information. All right, again, it's not. Learning isn't just we learn now and now we don't learn. Learning is a lifelong process. Right? The iPad, working with outside of our classroom, we can go to the world. Technology is way up here. We're down here. If we don't change, the world is going to change. I think myself, it is the way forward in the future for students.